Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna to be doing the ultimate clean your kitchen. Um, I try to do this like the, like I clean my kitchen every day, but I feel like I try to like deep clean my kitchen like at least once a week because it really needs it. Especially we're a family of five, and I I don't know, and I, I feel like I'm constantly cleaning. But it's always nice to go ahead and just do like a deep clean and just like start from scratch. So usually when I'm cleaning my kitchen, I start from like top to bottom. Like if I'm doing my deep clean, I like to start near the top um, of my cabinets and that's where it's usually pretty dusty. So I like to start from the top and I kind of work my way down. So when I'm doing the cabinets, um, always be extra careful. I always get so nervous when I'm doing my cabinets because um, our countertops are actually pretty narrow. We don't have a lot of counter space in this house. Um, so I'm always pretty weary when I'm standing up there and thankfully I'm super tall and I have long arms and I can kind of stretch around but um, yep, I always start at the top and I just work my way down. Um, the cloth that I'm using is a Norwax one so all you need to do is add water and it cleans the best. I've tried other things like Pledge and different things like that but I feel like what works best and doesn't leave streaks on my cabinets is just a Norwax just using water with it. So. When I'm doing the cabinets, today I'm working on the cabinet that has like, it's more of like a miscellaneous, like it's got um, stuff for the oven, it's got bowl, mixing bowls, it's got my cutting board, it's kind of just like a catch-all, but my main, I, I use it all the time type of kitchen stuff. Um, so what I do is I take everything out, everything I possibly can, I take everything out and then I wipe it down. I'm using the Mrs. Meyers, the pumpkin spice one, which is my favorite. I love the smell. It's so good. I wish they sold it all year round. I would just spray it all year round. Uh, but I take everything out. I spray everything down. I wipe the sides of the walls. I wipe the back. I wipe everything down. Make sure it's clean. And then I look on the floor and see what I have and I say, okay, I regroup things together and then I put them back in order. And I like when I'm, when I'm like reorganizing stuff that there's like a space between stuff. So it just looks clean and neat and organized. And then I moved on to uh, under my sink cabinet, which has been, it's needed it for a long time. It was really, really bad. I just like shove stuff in there and I shut the door. I don't know why I do that, but I, ha but I have the spaces in my house where I do that. Like we have a junk drawer, shove stuff in there. Even if I can't like fully get it in, I shove stuff in and I close it because I don't want to see with it. I don't want to deal with it. Um, we also have a room in the basement that's going to be our future bathroom one day when we finish it. I just shove everything in there and I shut the door and then, but the rest of my house is clean. So you know, I'm a work, I'm a work in progress. My house is a work in progress. Um, anyways, so I did the same thing with this kitchen cabinet too. I took everything out and it was disgusting. I don't know, I, it was just really disgusting. Um, and I went ahead and I sprayed everything down and I wiped it with my Norwex cloth. So I had one for like, just using with water that I used for my cabinets. And then I had another one that I was using with the spray. And I really love the cloths because you can wash them, they're reusable. I've used them a billion times and I have about four or five that I alternate between. I use them upstairs, I use them everywhere in my house. They're super durable. I use them all the time, I love them. here for the for five days they can easily find stuff they know where things are and just having things organized has like my mental health is, is better like just having everything has its own place it's easier to clean up because because I know where everything goes it goes right back in its spot and it's just 
it just helps keep your house cleaner. So I went ahead and I took everything out, wiped everything down, and then I regrouped stuff. I had to throw stuff away. I had to like kind of um, recycle some things that were getting older. But I went through all my um, cleaning products and put them all in a bin. And I got a couple of bins from Wegmans. Um, and if you're if you don't have a Wegmans, it's just like a regular grocery store. But uh, we shopped there a lot, and they were they were not expensive. They were like two ninety nine for two bins, and then the other one might have been like the bigger one was like three ninety nine. But I find most of my totes, if you saw my pantry organization, I get a lot of my totes from Home Goods and Target. Amazon probably has a lot of totes too, and the container store. But for me. I need to visually see it, like I need to hold it. It's hard for me to tell like online how big it is and I know they give you um, like the sizes and stuff like that, but I, I, I really have to see it to, to buy it. So I go in store to buy those type of purchases. <laughs>
like before I go to sleep at night, I like will go ahead and deep clean my sink just because sinks are disgusting. I think I read something like sinks are more disgusting than like like a toilet, like a bathroom. So I always try to keep that area clean just so it doesn't get like you know built up and um, and so you know, so I don't get fruit flies. We get fruit flies sometimes too, and I notice the more I clean it, the the less they are. So I always deep clean that too. to subscribe to new channels are they going to be consistent or are they going to give up you don't know if you want to like give them a shot but I would love if you gave me a shot because I really am passionate about this I really enjoy making these videos and if I can just help one person or just like brighten one person's day it makes it all worth it for me um, I just really enjoy the editing side of this as well I like editing videos I just feel really like I feel just like in my core I feel very passionate about this and I love cleaning my house. I feel like I am a professional cleaner. I, I'm cleaning all the time. I love a clean house. When my house is clean, I am my absolute happiest. My kids love our house when we're clean. They love when they come home every day and I have their beds made, everything put away. I have their jammies out. They love that. And, and I love going into my room at night and my bed is made. Little things like that make me happy, which is probably really bizarre. But I figured I might as well share some of my, like, passions. So cleaning is a definitely a passion. I feel like I do it for stress relief, um, but I just thought I would share it with you. I hope you like this and I'll see you in my next video.